I asked the question to myself today, what is the best possible early game money strategy? Well, today I kind of want to answer that question because I'm super bored. I'm like, you know what? Why not? Just screw it. And honestly, I'm going to start off with the phone numbers because as you can see, I'm pretty poor. I only have 20 coins, you know, I'm homeless and stuff. But um, for most players, most players probably already know about this, but there's actually six phone numbers, I believe. They give you free money in the game, which is really helpful. I'll put a list on here and it's on the wiki. But yeah, I genuinely recommend doing this. And by the way, this is just the beginning because I actually have a lot of cooler methods to do this because there's actually a lot of strategies I thought of for the early game because I have a, I've had a lot of experience making money in the early game. I made 10,000 coins in the first day. I robbed the porn the first day. I know what I'm doing. 12 seconds later. All right, and there we go. Just like that, I have 611 coins. But I need more. Also, if you're into being an epic prankster, you can also do these little fox mischief quest thingy. That's another way to make a quick buck. And there you go, that's a quick 57 coins, not bad. Before I continue on my little money journey, it's probably a good idea to go back to my house because I need some uh, maps and stuff like that. And the ranger just gave me a free ride to the house. How generous of that. All right, let's get some things. First of all, let's get the map so I can teleport home. The camper outfit because I'm too lazy to go to the lumber mill and stuff like that, or the sawmill, so I'll get that too. The car keys will be very useful just because I can just steal any car, so I don't have to use a go-kart or something. I can just steal like a supercar or something like that, so very helpful. And I think for now, that's probably everything I need. My next destination is most definitely going to be the arcade. You'll see why. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you definitely know what I'm talking about because I've definitely mentioned multiple times how good the arcade is for the early game because it just is. And here we are, the arcade. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot this dude has an afro now. But anyway, let's see what we have here. We have some nachos, which is really good because you can get those for super cheap. Uh, you can get a lot of them. And they sell for 50 coins, very useful. You can get this key too, which is also really good because um, it's only one ticket, clearly. You just have to beat all the games and then boom, uh, like 3,500 coins right there, I think. And then there's also like the virtual reality stuff, which is good just because you can collect coins, I guess, if you want the virtual bread. Not that it's worth it, but it's just still fun. And you can also collect tickets and also that can sell a decent amount as well. So overall, there's a lot of money strategies in this. Anyways, from here, I just have to simply play all the arcade games and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, well, I just finished on everything. I forgot to go and board the rocket because I'm an idiot. But other than that, I did a pretty good job. And I have a pretty decent amount of tickets. I have 283. All right, now with all that epic gaming out of the way, let's just go ahead and uh, buy some stuff. First of all, of course, you can't forget the epic cash key. And if I'm not mistaken, that should be 3,500 coins. So a lot of money right there. Actually, yeah, look at that. 3,822 coins. Very nice. And then next up my extra tickets, I'm going to buy all these nachos because these can sell for 50 coins a piece. And I can make, I can sell them for even more if I sold them to Trash Bear. So maybe I'll do that. Unfortunately, they're out of stock, but I got as much as I could. And you know what? Just because it's useful, let's also get a wristwatch. I think that'd be really helpful. Anyways, my next destination should be the supermarket. And remember, guys, stealing is super cool. Remember to steal everything in your local grocery store, or more specifically, the oranges. I'm pretty sure each set of oranges in this game can actually sell for 400 coins. So if you do a lot of these, it's actually not that bad. Anyways, let's just get away from the cops. Also, before I forget, I should probably marinate my uh, nachos in the trash can because those will give it double the sell value if I sell it to Trash Bear. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that real quick. And by the way, guys, let me mention that the nachos thing, you can repeat that every single day. You can do the nachos selling thing all the time. You can keep putting the trash can, keep selling it to Trash Bear. And hell, if you want, you can also uh, you can also set yourself send yourself into the prison cell because if you sleep in the prison cell, you will sleep in the town and then therefore you can just camp all the, you can just farm all the little nacho things if you want, which is uh, pretty cool. Anyways, all these things should be good to go. So yeah, I guess while I still have time, destination number one is going to be the sawmill where I sell all my stuff. And then destination number two will be Orange Man. And of course, Orange Man is one of the best characters in the game. Not quite being by Cone Man, but still definitely a pretty big competitor. Here we are, the sawmill. Hopefully he doesn't take my oranges, but I'm pretty sure how the trash bear works is that he only buys food that's in the trash can. Hopefully that's how it works. I think that's how it works. So, uh, yeah. And he's offering me 612 coins. Very nice. Yeah, and there we go. Just like that, I sold all the food. I'm not even trying that hard either, and I already have 400 coins in the one day alone. That's crazy. And that's not even including the porn stuff. Because in the next in-game day, later in the video, I actually am going to rob the poor on the second day of the game. 
And then by the end of the second day, maybe I'll have like 10,000 coins at that point. I'll be super rich and cool. I am kind of starving though. Hopefully I don't, uh, hopefully I don't pass out. Yeah, maybe just to play it safe. I'm probably just going to stay in the lodge then just, just so I don't starve. I'm not going to lie. It's very inconsiderate of them to not put tables in the middle of the highway. That would have been really nice. But no, I'm good. I have a couple food items here. Burnt to a crisp, but still editable somehow. All right. Good night, gamers. All right, new day, new me. So today's game plan is just to sell my oranges and then hopefully I can rob the port. And I think that's good. I think that's a good uh, way to end the video. And look at that, I just got another orange, nice. And some water to keep myself hydrated. That's always important. By the way, guys, as you're watching this, get a water bottle in real life and drink some water because I know a lot of you probably haven't drank water in a while. So um, yeah, motivational stuff, I guess. I'm sure I can live off of one hunger point for now while I do this. And maybe I should buy a car soon, I don't know. All right, I have found my boy. And look at that, a very impressive 425 coins, nice. All right, time to get ready to rob the port. First of all, I just gotta pretend I wanna work here. And then of course I just proceed to go into the sewers. Too easy, man, too easy. All right, now that I'm down here, I need to get the port code. 526 question mark. Oh, I got already, nice. I'm kind of worried about starving again, so I might actually eat first and then I'll continue my little heist here. But yeah, other than that, it's basically just a waiting game. All right, well, it's almost time to rob the port, I think. Few moments later. All right, there we go. Now it's time. Now I've done this plenty of times before, so this shouldn't be too much of an issue. And my place of interest currently is definitely going to be secure one because hopefully I can find some beef jerky and or burgers there because those sell for 50 coins each or 100 if you sell to trash bears. So um, pretty cool stuff. I'm going to try that, though. This part's a little tricky because you could get caught, but let me just try not to. Oh, close one, close one. Not quite, though. Anyways, we hit the jackpot here because we got burger one, burger two. Wow. Absolutely cool. I never really understood why people complain about the port robber being too hard because honestly, this is insanely easy for the most part. Like, if you just don't get caught, you're fine, man. It's just not that hard. Anyways, let's get moving. And just like that, I'm out of here, I think. Yes, sir, I made it to the workshop. Let's go. I can't wait to see how many burgers I got. 40 hamburgers, not bad. Let's see how many coins I can get off of this. 2,000 coins, very solid, I'll take it. And well, just like that, in just a couple in-game days, I already have about 7,000 coins. That's actually really impressive, in my opinion. All right, it's the next day, and I'm thinking today, to earn more money in the early game, I'm thinking I can buy myself a supercar and maybe also buying a uh, buying some upgrades for it, because I'm thinking if I do the mountain pass a bunch of times, that's also an effective strategy. By the way, don't worry about this cuts anything, it doesn't really matter that much. It kind of sucks how this car now costs 2,500 coins, because I'm pretty sure it used to cost only 2,000. I guess that's what inflation does. It's still worth it, though. I'm buying it. I don't have too much money left after that, but I think I can still afford at least one upgrade. Yep, there we go. One upgrade. Nice. Wait, I can actually max it out. Not bad. That's actually really cool. I can also get the racing tire soon, but I need to get a bit more money for that. All right, anyways, let's just get grinding the mountain pass, honestly. All right, with my first completion being done, now I should be able to afford the racing tires. Yeah, there we go. Now I got racing tires. Perfect. Yeah, so now at this point, you probably just do a solid, like, maybe 15 minutes of just grinding this mountain pass. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that, dude. Uh. All right, anyways, uh, let's just uh, enjoy the time lapse. And just like that, after like 15 minutes of grinding, I earned about 3,369 coins. Nice. It's because of the 69 at the end. Anyways, I think for now, that's all my early game money strategies. Overall, just uh, do this little uh, mountain pass thing. I think it's a really good strategy. Rob the poor as much as you can. Steal the burgers and beef jerkies because those sell for the most. Get some nachos and uh, like money hotline, stuff like that. All those are really good options for the early game. And that's about all I have to say. So if you enjoyed this video... Uh, give it a like and sub, all that cool stuff. And if you didn't like this video, then um, that's too bad because YouTube removed the ability to dislike it. So um, yeah, sucks to, sucks to suck, man. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Goodbye.